Now to the weather. Millions are threatened tonight as a massive and powerful storm system rumbles into the east. It's already left a wide swath of destruction and death across the south. At least six people have been killed this weekend by violent storms, including more than a dozen suspected tornadoes. Mireya Villarreal is in Alto, Texas. Parts of this town look like they were ripped apart by a giant blender. Over to my right, this is where three houses used to sit, ripped apart here in Alto, Texas, by the tornado that came through here. To my left, this is a car in the front yard. It was actually thrown clear across an entire field. The strength and unpredictability of this one storm system can be measured in the destruction it left behind. Dozens of homes in Hamilton, Mississippi, completely flattened, and yet this closet was spared with clothes still hanging inside. At least 11 tornadoes touched down in three different states. It happened so quick, I didn't have time to get scared until it was over. Roger Ann Gray was at home in Franklin, Texas with her four grandsons when one ripped through their small city. They survived by hiding in this hallway. Over there is part of my garage. My front porch, the awning out over that house of the front porch is in my neighbor's yard. The worst of these storms hit Texas, Louisiana, and Mississippi Saturday. At the height of the storm, more than 100,000 people were without power. A tornado also touched down in Alto, Texas, population 1,200. Cecil Morgan has lived here most of his life. Morgan stayed home with his family to ride out the storm, thinking they were just in for heavy rain and high winds. When you guys were huddled in this Ready? corner here, what are you telling your grandkids especially? Yeah, we're just playing. We didn't tell them nothing. By daylight, crews were on scene cleaning up debris, assessing the damage, and providing help to those in need. You've lived here for 30 years. What are you going to do now? I got to start over. That's all I can do. I'll do something. More than half of this town was affected by this tornado. Now over 200 have been displaced. Volunteers and law enforcement tell me it was a miracle that everyone survived this storm system, including the Morgan family. Elaine? Truly a miracle. Medea, thank you.